Now we are really excited to say not many can say that they've been in the presence of royalty. But for the singing group, the Queen Six, performing for the royal family is a typical part of life. Performing both the highs and the low moments, they performed at the funerals of Prince Philip and Queen Elizabeth, as well as the royal wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Now they're in the midst of their U.S. concert debut at the Town Hall near Times Square. Three of the Queen Six join me now, founding members Simon Whiteley and members Elizabeth Paul and Tom Lilburn. Great to see the three of you. Thank you so much. I'm glad we chose the three of you yeah. of the six. <laughs> <laughs> I was told we got Thank the three you. done. I'm kidding. <laughs> All due respect to the other three. So, uh, first of all, how do you get in? Involved. When does your training start? When do you know that you are good enough to actually be three of the Queen Six? I'll let you go right down the line. Oh, sure. I mean, it's we started. I think we all started singing at a very young age. Yeah. You know, um, most of us were singing in church choirs from about the age of seven years old, uh, and and most of us then did it through school, through university, and yeah, and you, we, we we all decided it's what we wanted to do as a career. Um, so we're the, the Queen Six is made up uh, mainly of members of a larger choir, the St George's Chapel Choir in yeah. Windsor. Castle, um, and it was about 15 years ago that we um, there was quite a lot of call for sort of after dinner entertainment, sometimes for some very important people. And uh, we'd go along, we might <laughs> sing a bit of church music and sure. sort of sung grace at the beginning of the meal, mm -hmm. and then at the end of the meal we'd do sort of 15, 20 minutes of pop songs or jazz or you know something uh, the, the lighter side of music. Yeah. Um, and we'd always kind of put something together. The, the adult members of the St George's Choir we'd put something together, and it was always good, it was always fine. But one of the guys in the choir at the time thought, you know what, I reckon we can do something a bit better than that. Yeah. Why don't we put a group together and we can concentrate on the lighter side of music, but we can still sing the church music? Yeah. And that's how the Queen Six was born. Um, yeah. In the two of you. So I started singing at an, about the age of seven in a parish church choir and always enjoyed it. And then, yeah, I, I, I started doing it more and more as I went to university. And I was, I was fortunate that when I was leaving university, the job at St George's Chapel came up and I went for it and was lucky enough to get it and sort of fell into it that way. Yeah. yeah. Um, as far as, I guess, the feeling you get when you're performing, not only in front of the Queen or your, uh, any member of the royal family, what does that do to energize you or, or bring the adrenaline level even higher that you feel like you're maybe singing a little bit better than you thought you could sing? <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's an incredible feeling. Just um, Obviously, there's a lot of pressure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and you're just standing there and you're like, oh my gosh, all the royal family are right there. But it, it's amazing to be able to share our talents with the world on such a big, um, yeah, Big world it's platform, it's a, yeah, it's an amazing stage, and again, to, to hear your voices and, and things of that nature, um, is it? Uh, I guess as as far as the scale of thrills go, on a scale of one to ten, when you're performing, whether it's just with the choir or you're performing in front of the royal family, I, I assume this guy, it's got to be so rewarding to be recognized by so many people around the world. And now with this tour mm -hmm. here in the United States, how great is that and gratifying is that to see your, your work being rewarded like that? It, it's hugely gratifying. I mean, I think the bottom line when it comes to singing for the, the big royal occasions is that it's it's just an enormous honor to be involved. Uh, the, the, the privilege um, is, 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 is incredible. And, and yeah, and on a scale of one to ten, it's got to be about a 72 yeah. um, <laughs> in, in terms of, of thrill. Um, but of course, we've sung at some very, very sad occasions recently yeah. as well, and so uh, it, it, it's it's often tinged with a, a quite a deep sadness as yeah. well. Um, it just it depends on what the occasion is. And what's it like now being here in the states? Now you've got these concerts here in America. Uh, have you spent much time here b before? I mean, is this new to you? Give me a little bit of a background. We've been to the states quite a few times before, but I think only to New York once before. Yeah. I'm, I'm absolutely loving it here. I mean, yeah. the audience last night at the Town Hall was absolutely superb. I want to take New York audiences with us wherever, wherever we go because yeah. they, uh, they get involved, they love it, they want to be part of the show, and it makes it so much better for us on stage when they they want to be part of it. And for people that they don't have tickets or can't see it, just give me a quick background on what the what does what comprises the I guess the musical selection for the show here in the states. Well, it's a whole range. So we start our program with. Um, Renaissance polyphony that would have been heard, well, it was composed 500 years ago. Yeah. Um, and we go all the way through to um, the pop 
era and we had to do some Broadway songs as yeah. we're in New York. Yeah. Um, Got to play to your audience. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. How, did go? It. How did it go last night? It was fantastic. Yeah. As Tom said, like, the, the audience, the crowd last night, were, they were so receptive. And we, we just play off that because <laughs> a big part of our shows also is we do uh, spoken introductions. So we just try and make the audience laugh and try and get them involved. And they got so involved. It was fantastic. That's what we love about New York audiences, though. They provide that extra energy. Really Not do. that you needed it, but they do yeah, provide yeah, that little boost. Well, thank you, the three of you. Thank you. We greatly appreciate it. Best of luck. Enjoy your time here, OK? Thank, thank you so Good much. luck thank again you. tonight. And if you'd like more information on the Queen Six or how to get tickets for their final New York show tonight, head to our website, cbsnewyork.com, and we will be right back. If you have an opportunity, go check them out. They're incredible.